Hello everyone, welcome to the second session of Marketing Analytics. And this is Dr. Swati Mishra from International School of Business Management at Suresh Gyan Vihar University, Jeffrey. In the first session, I had introduced you to the concept of marketing analytics. I had spoken to you about the importance of marketing analytics and I had also introduced you to few tools of marketing analytics. In today's session, we will be carrying the same discussion forward and we will be discussing the importance of marketing analytics along with some KPIs also. So let us move forward and discuss as to what marketing analytics is. Before that, I would like to inform you about the learning objectives of this session. The session will introduce all the learners to the marketing analytics part as to what is marketing analytics. It will make the learners understand the importance of marketing analytics. And also the one of the objectives of this session is to give the learners an idea about the KPI tools. As far as the outcomes of this session are concerned, after this session, the learners will be aware of what marketing analytics is. The learners will carry an understanding of the importance of marketing analytics and they will be having a detailed idea of what the KPI tools are. So, as I just said that in the first session, I've already introduced you to the marketing analytics concept and what exactly marketing analytics is and what is what are these analytics people, the analysts doing? So now that you have understood what marketing analytics is and the way it works. So this session will actually help you to understand the importance that it plays for any organization. Although in the previous session only when we were discussing the marketing analytics and how analysts are actually using the data for analysis purpose and you know how marketing analytics actually functions i really understand that it would have been quite uh, you know informative for you and you must have got the awareness of uh, the importance of marketing analytics side by side or simultaneously when we were covering those topics but uh, in this session, we will be covering those draw, the, the importance part in a greater detail. So let us try to understand the role that marketing analytics is actually playing these days for various different organizations and how the organizations are actually benefiting from marketing analytics. So let us begin with the roles that marketing analytics is playing. See, in today's world, you know, understanding any customer and the customer's behavior towards any brand or any marketing activity that is conducted by a brand or maybe trying to understand any market trends is a very crucial aspect for every brand or any organization. The reason is very simple. You know, Today, there is so much of competition. There are so many brands which are there in the market. And because of social media, everything is, you know, so easy to be promoted and so cheap for, you know, it's, you can promote it in abundance at a very cheaper cost as compared to any other media of marketing or advertising. And there are so many brands in competition that a customer is having tremendous choices. The customer is well informed and he exactly knows that what he wants. So, you know, for every brand, it becomes highly important that they are analyzing the customer's requirements, perceptions, wants, and of course, their behavior towards any particular marketing campaign 
or any particular marketing advertisement or advert that is created unless they are actually an, an organization or the brands are actually analyzing these trends you know it is really it cannot be said that they are going to perform better in the future so whenever companies leverage the power of marketing analytics they get a far clearer and bigger picture of the trends you know as in each and every little detail of a customer's preferences choices buying behaviors everything can be monitored for example if i am clicking on any particular website any particular little product and if i am actually you know sir you know clicking on different websites similar products they can easily find out through the you know marketing analytics data that i am in search of such that type of product they can easily guess my buying behaviors the kind of payment options i require mostly the kind of products i mostly choose the my brand consciousness my brand appeals which type of brands appeal to me and what is my brand preference and brand loyalty so all these things can be analyzed very easily through marketing analytics and that is what makes the role of marketing analytics so crucial for you know any organization to stay in the competition and to achieve success finally to its various marketing campaigns so the second and the most important role of uh, marketing analytics is that it also helps to depict which campaigns are going to succeed in future and which ones have failed and what are the reasons why they failed it actually provides you the data which will clarify the reasons for the success or failure of any campaign as well so with that you can actually understand you know as to what are the most important reasons behind failures of any brand how can you make those brands succeed so you know by monitoring these marketing trends regularly um through uh, you know different uh, methodologies of marketing analytics that are applied by the marketers you know marketing analytics actually enhances the market study of the organization and also provides a very clear report of the marketing analytics uh, uh, you know the analysis that has been done by marketing analytics or the analysts and he provides a clear report to give a very crystal clear view of the operations of all the campaigns that were carried out by the organization and what were the level of engagements that were created through those marketing campaigns how much of uh, you know customer queries were generated through each and every campaign through each and every operation that was carried out under a marketing campaign so that is the level of uh, monitoring that marketing analytics can do for an organization and it also helps to understand the return on investments now it's very obvious that you know whenever an organization is carrying out any sort of advertisement or uh, advertising campaign they're hu- investing huge funds in it because every organization is keeping separate budgets for the same and they are actually investing huge budgets so whenever an organization is investing some amount in any type of advertising campaign it obviously requires some return on them. they're expecting those returns so that is why you know these analytics actually helps to understand this return on investment properly and with the help of analytics an organization can actually make out whether 
a particular advertising campaign or a particular marketing campaign has been successful enough in generating good returns on the investment which have been made by the organization it can also help to you know predict any sort of future trends as it monitors each and every transaction very typically like when a person entered into a website how many different websites did he survey for the same product why did he choose to actually buy the product from your particular website right how many times did he you know entered that product in the cart and removed it from there for how, how long duration did he keep that particular product in his wish list and you know on what occasions is he making such type of purchases if there is a product which a person is frequently buying then i hope that you know that there is an option of you know on amazon and flipkart that they can you know you can just turn on that alarm and they will regularly send it to you at every uh, particular time durations interval say if i want diapers for my baby and i have a particular choice of brand and the size fixed for maybe next 6 months i can turn on that alarm and it will automatically uh, you know generate the invoice and send it send the product on my shipping address and uh, along with the bill and i can make the e payments for the same they will also prompt me and ask me whether i want to make an early payment or i want to deliver uh, i want to make the payments on delivery so that is the level of information that marketing analytics carries about any particular customers buying behaviors so you know that is why it can actually tell you that you know how much of return has been earned on the investment that was made by the brand on any particular ad campaign and it can also help you to predict the future trends as it keeps on monitoring the transactions very periodically right so you know these are actually the general reasons why marketing analytics plays such an important role in any organization in today's world so like life marketing which is one of the most famous marketing analytics organizations and according to them 93% of the finish business directors feel that data driven marketing strategies are very crucial to the success of the, their companies and this is not only you know characterized by the finish directors but it is known worldwide in india every top company is using marketing analytics to actually analyze the success ratios of each and every marketing campaign to predict the future trends that are going to arise how much any marketing campaign is going to prove to be beneficial can also be judged through marketing analytics so this data driven technology has actually you know and this data driven marketing strategy development has actually proven to be a very key turning point for every marketer today and every organization is looking forward to achieving these uh, you know big objectives with the help of or with the support of marketing analytics so for any b2b company you know data driven marketing is the key to driving sales while for b2c companies you know they see this as a very crucial option for earning retentions so that is what actually makes marketing analytics such a crucial aspect for the success of every company today and that is where this importance of marketing analytics actually lies so when i said that this session is going to you know cover the part of importance of marketing analytics this is what it is so i really hope that all the learners are understanding as to what i'm trying to convey when i tell you that how marketing analytics is so important let's have a look at it once again i told you 
that you know customers and market trends are highly crucial for every organization and marketing analytics supports these organizations by you know leveraging the power of marketing analytics and you know giving them a bigger picture of the trends as each detail is monitored through analytics tools it helps to depict which campaigns are going to succeed which ones are not going to succeed it provides the reasons for success or failure of the campaigns as well it monitors the marketing trends very regularly enhances the market study of the organization provides a crystal clear view of the operations of all the campaigns it also helps to understand the return on investments that are done by the organizations it can also help you to predict future trends as it monitors every transaction very periodically so these are the basic importance now we proceed to our next part of the session so today's session also uh, you know tries to understand uh, is also aimed to understanding the major steps for incorporating marketing analytics in your organization so we have now understood the importance of marketing analytics thoroughly and uh, you know now onwards in the further session we are going to discuss some key steps that the businesses can use to incorporate it into their processes and they are monitoring ma the marketing act activities monitoring their competitors long term analysis of marketing activities and prediction capabilities of the marketing analytics platform so these are the four key steps to incorporate the marketing analytics in your organization now let's talk about these steps one by one as to what i mean if i say monitoring the marketing activities what exactly do i mean by monitoring the marketing activities so these activities basically focus on the current trends of the marketing activities of the organization it is important to focus on you know different sources of say inputs different sources to measure the performance of the marketing campaign and of course you know the marketing team should have a wide angle view of the processes and the campaigns that are being run right so why do i require a wide angle view or the birds eye view as i call it the reason is that you know marketing activities are not confined to a smaller section marketing activities by big organization in itself are really widespread and that is why you need to have a birds eye view or a wide angle view of all the activities so that you can understand thoroughly that from where it started and where it ended and how it ended what kind of impact it could generate right how much of retention it could create how much of recall it could create how much of buzzword your marketing activities could create that is also analyzed by marketing analytics now what do you mean by buzz creating a marketing buzz how many of you know it by creating a buzz actually what is meant is that you know when any type of innovative marketing activity is conducted by an organization there might be some audience which are not actually going to turn into your customers who are not your potential customers actually but indeed indeed they are going to talk about your marketing campaign because it was so innovative they are going to talk about your marketing campaign to a lot of other people say today if l'oreal was distributing free uh, hair color sachets in some fine college of uh, girls and those girls went ahead and told maybe each girl told 20 different friends about this campaign 
so this is a free word of mouth publicity that girl might or might not turn into a regular customer of l'oreal but the others might and that is what is creating a buzz and marketing analytics is even you know tracing the buzzword that is created by this mark so deep you know by analyzing that how many people could be roped in through one marketing campaign it is easier to find out the buzz that was created so or else maybe if there was an a marketing campaign online how many people shared that campaign on their walls of uh, social media pages is also a buzz so these activities basically focus on these types of current trends or marketing activities of these organizations and that is why you know companies should try to use more accurate metrics kpis such as conversion comments and shares and reports which must be designed kpis i hope the full form uh, you all know that the full form is key performance indicators so you know the conversions the comments the shares the and of course the reports which must be designed in such a manner that they can communicate to the whole team and not just one or two individuals uh most of the metrics are people centered so that both current and the future customers are well taken care of so you know that is why you know the companies are needing the monitoring of marketing activities which is actually supported by marketing analytics so i hope that you have understood what is this monitoring part of marketing analytics let's move ahead and talk about the next key step to incorporate marketing analytics which was monitoring the competitors so you know when we talk about monitoring the competitors you all know who are you, uh, you know why monitoring of competitors is so important you know and competitive analysis of course plays a major role in any kind of marketing team and organizations must not compromise on this and must treat it as a constant metric in their analysis whenever they are you know leveraging the analytical techniques so in addition to the performance itself the investments and the efforts which are made by the competitors they are supposed to be studied because that is what is going to tell you about the kind of competitive advantage that you have over the others or maybe the others have over you and that will support you to create your own uh, you know advertising campaigns or marketing campaigns keeping in view the competitor actions and uh, the analysis supports that have been generated after monitoring these competitors so this competitive analysis actually adds an extra dimension in the performance uh, and also helps the team decide where and when to uh, you know invest their time and resources and how to strategize your decisions in such a manner that they prove to be more effective than your competitors it should not happen that you know your competitors actions were proven to be better than yours otherwise then what is the point of actually having any kind of marketing analysts sitting in your organization or maybe being hired by an organization if you are not even able to trace your competitors actions and 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 you are not able to strategize your organization's activities and marketing plans according to the marketing plans of your competitors so to tune with the current marketing trends and to keep ahead of your competitors you require 
of course the third key step is to have a long term analysis of the marketing analysis i mean marketing activities so a long term analysis of marketing goals actually help a team get ready and it prepares them for any kind of possible solution situation organizations must measure their gains and losses in a long term fashion so as to combat any type of risks that can arise and this is what will enable them to make a holistic decision on where they need to invest their energy and unless they are able to make this holistic decision about where they need to invest their energy by energy i not only mean energies of the employees or the organization but also the funds so unless they are correctly applying their resources their energies and their funds at the correct point the efforts will be all considered to be wasted efforts they will go in vain and there are multiple examples of such big failures of marketing campaigns which involved huge investments but they could not perform the way they were supposed to and one reason was that long term analysis of marketing activities was not conducted by the the next is the prediction capabilities of the marketing analytics platform so marketing analytics basically helps you to predict where to spend time and resources because it values the efforts and investments over a temporary period of success of a particular marketing channel so by treating all the channels equally the marketing team will be able to decide when and where to use each channel and this will actually help to prioritize uh the next quarter's investments more accurately which means that every organization can decide you know they can make predictions or forecast what is required for the next quarter or maybe next uh 6 months or so and marketing analytics actually helps you to do that and you can prioritize on your investments more accurately so that you make your investments at the correct place and correct position so this is what the importance of uh, you know prediction capabilities of marketing analytics platform is so after this uh, you know i just want to highlight the kpis and metrics to which are actually used to measure the marketing performance of any uh, you know marketing campaign of an organization and uh, although we are falling short of time in this session so what we will do is that we will be covering the because kpi metrics understanding all the kpi there are lots of kpi metrics so understanding them will require a separate one full session so i will not be taking it in this session but uh, what we will do is that we will just try to measure uh, we will just try to understand what they are and i'll just try to list out them for you after that we will just have a brief overlook of the entire session and be done with it so you know the further session will focus on providing <clears throat> important kpi metrics that one uses for measuring the marketing performances so that you know the companies can constantly keep a track of their performance they can constantly find out that how they have been doing uh, when they have conducted any sort of marketing analytics campaign or any other marketing activity so for this reason the kpi metrics are holding a lot of importance these days for multiple organizations who are using data driven uh, you know studies and analysis for their marketing campaigns so there is a list of some important kpi metrics like sales revenue cost per click online marketing return on investment 
form conversion rates social media reach then cost of customer acquisition coca that is another very important kpi metric website traffic is another very important kpi metrics these days because most of the uh, you know purchasing is now coming down to the level of online purchases and that is why you know generating website traffic for every organization is highly important then the leads the customer lifetime values uh, click through rates marketing revenue attributions cost per lead all these are different kpi metrics and uh, in our next session we will be studying each and every kpi metric in detail so because it's a long list so i can't cover all of them today but let's have a look at what all we have covered today once again and uh, you know as i told you that the outcomes of today's session will be that you will be aware fully that what marketing analytics is so i hope that you are fully aware of what marketing analytics is you also carry an understanding of the importance of marketing analysis and the roles it plays and of course you are also well versed with the idea of the kpi metrics and uh, you will also understand each and every kpi metrics in detail in the next session so we have understood the role of marketing analytics in detail today we went through the leverage power of marketing analytics the you know power through which marketing analytics can actually tell you which campaign has been successful which has not another important is that they can actually trace the trends very regularly and uh, you know they we 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 went through some key steps to incorporate marketing analytics wherein we understood the monitoring of marketing activities monitoring of competitors the long term analysis of marketing activities and the prediction capabilities of the marketing analytics platform so with this we have come to an end of today's session i really hope that today's session was extremely informative for all the learners and you people are finding these sessions very beneficial for you and i do hope that we will continue with these sessions in a more collaborative manner and i will be able to do all the justice with this subject and uh, provide you with greater details of the concepts of marketing analytics as we dive deeper into this subject and slowly we will be covering greater details of marketing analytics wherein we will be learning different techniques of analysis and uh, there will be multiple numericals also that we will solve on marketing analytics to give you a hands on experience of uh, how these tools are used so please be with me and uh, you know keep learning this subject this is dr swati mishra from um, international school of business management at suresh ganya university jaipur signing off so thank you so much for being so attentive in this session have a nice day bye bye